Joe was asked to factor this expression and represent it with math tiles. So here are the pieces that he's starting with, and the question is what additional additional tiles would he need to represent the total area of two factors? So the key is that he has this much already, and we, we may need a few more pieces. And So the key here to be able to know what additional tiles he would need is we need to be able to we need to know what the factors of this expression is. So let's try factoring. There's many ways to factor. Let's just try one way. So I have the expression 6x squared plus x minus 15. I'm going to try rewriting it without the coefficient. We have x squared plus x. I'm going to multiply the first and last number. This is just one technique. It's kind of a little trick. Minus 6 times 15 is 90. And so I'm not going to write equal because it's not quite equal, but we're using a little trick here. And I'm going to just factor as normal. So we have xx, what two numbers uh, multiply to 90 yet add to be 1. Let's try plus 10 minus 9. 10 times negative 9 is negative 90. Positive 10, negative 9 makes 1, positive 1. So this here is factored. Now to actually complete this, we remember that we got rid of the coefficient 6, so we have to also divide by that same coefficient. So 10, 6 simplifies to 5 over 3. 9, 6 simplifies to 3 over 2. And finally, we move this denominator in front of the x. So we have this here is equals to 3x plus 5, 2x minus 3, just a quick way of factoring. So we know that these are the factors. And the way we can represent this using algebra tiles is to draw this little, these two, two lines here and have 3x plus 5. So I'm going to have, that's x, that's positive x, that's positive x. So we'll keep white as positive, shaded as negative, positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This here is 3x plus 5, and we have 2x minus 3. So we have x, x, x is our bars. Negative 3 is going to be shaded, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So the key idea is when we have factors here on the sides, when we multiply them this times this, we end up with the actual area where the this is the this here the square this is the result of x times x which is x squared this is positive x squared because it's white and I'm just f multiplying it the actual row in the column we have x times x x squared we have x times positive 1 is x you can see the pattern here is being filled We have, again, x times x is x squared. The pattern continues. We have x times 1. It's also x. x, 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 because 1 times x is x. And finally, we have negative numbers. We have negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And the same goes here. Negative 1 times x is negative x. So this pattern repeats. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And this pattern is going to repeat for all of these. Quite a few of these. Okay, so this here represents the total area, which is the product of these factors. And the question is a bit tricky because it's saying what additional tiles would he need? Essentially, he needs all these tiles, but he already has these. What kind of pieces do we need to complete the set? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. He has all these big X squared tiles. Now, what about the white bars? One of these, but we actually need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because we already have one, we only need nine more. We have one of these already, so we need nine more of these ones here. So we need nine white ones here. And also we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. We have 15 of these and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We already have all of these pieces here. I don't see any negative X bars here. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine more of these to complete the set. So nine each of this as well as this, B is the correct answer.